Good Pepper Shaker Gamer, welcome you back to Elite Dangerous and my second video in my tutorial series. Uh, today we're going to go over uh, missions, super crews, and traveling in between systems. So let's just get right into it. So uh, before I do that though, I just want to point out there was a small change to the UI here because there was the Food Carries update dropped on June 9th. Frontier, Frontier uh, dropped the Food Carries update on June 9th, and you can see a link with more information about that update in the description. There was a few small UI changes, so you got the, this is your fuel icon, this is your repair icon, this is your stock icon, and this is your return to service icon. Nothing crazy, just a few small UI changes. So we're going to talk about missions today, so first things first, among other things, we're going to hit the Starport Services button. Let's do a second load. And then we're going to go to the mission board. And then on the left hand side, you have a name of the dock, name of the system, uh, name the station in the system, your command name, the credit balance, etc. etc. On the right hand side, you have the name of the faction uh, and the various states, influence, reputation, and type of the government of the faction is of, uh, that's given the missions as well. So, and then you also have the show reward choices button. So you can go them by all choices. You also go by credits, materials, commodities, reputation, and influence. For new players, I would have us just go with the credits option. I just go them by all choices. So we're going to do a quick the credits option, and then we can't have to skip these, we don't have the credits for those, or at least. So I'll cut the top in here. Ah, there we go, we found something. So, this is something I actually wanted to talk about. So, some certain factions are aligned superpowers. So the three superpowers in the game are the Federation, the Empire, and the Alliance. Completing missions for these factions helps give you helps give you uh, rank increases for these uh, superpowers, which can get eventually if you do them now, if you can get things like uh, permits, uh, new ships to use, etc., etc. So this this point, this uh, progressive party of whatever that name is is uh, is aligned to the Federation, so we're just gonna start running missions from them. So generally, uh, mission choice, mission rewards do go up the more rep you have. So the higher the rep the, with the mission, the more you, the, the higher rep with, with the mission, the more uh, the more credits you get. So we're gonna click on the entire report delivery. So when we look at a mission thing, at the very top, it all gives you the mission name. Uh, it'll also be give you if it's a cargo mission or if it's a data mission. In this case, it's a data mission. I would highly suggest doing those first, as the data is stored on a computer and does not require any, any cargo space. And with these type of missions, uh, first off, always make sure you read the descriptions and where you're going and what's going to be sent, who will be sent after you. And then with most missions, you will generally receive reward upon delivery. Uh, there's a few exceptions, but generally most once the cargo item, etc., etc., once you come back or when you get there, you will receive your reward. You always want to plan your journey to be at the galaxy map to make sure you can get there in time and properly. And the missions do have a time limit. So uh, if you want to scroll down, you have 23 hours to do this. This shouldn't take too long to complete. And this is where it's going. At the top is just a, the recommended rank you should have. These are your reward choices. So right now, you're going to want to stick with the credit choices. So just the 26,000 weapon credits. And the also influence, reputation, those are more relevant. But right now, you just want to apply twice credits or over anything else. So what we're going is going to be a destination. We're going to the starport being terminal, and we're going to the system. I don't know how to say that. Uh, which is 11.774 light years away. You always want to look at this because sometimes the stations can be two to three thousand light seconds out, or they can be if you case one hugging two to three point two to point three mil million of a light second out. Uh, that number's not set. So on the system, it's just a where you're going and the distance you have. So this uh, the sideline I'm currently in just has a current uh, six point something light year current range. So we should be able to make that. What we're going to do is we're going to run quick accept. So now for exit. And you can also see the missions here as well and press one, go to the contents tab, and we're going to do the yeah. We're gonna do the attorney report delivery. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, we're going to open the galaxy map, and we should be able to select it, clock it out. Yes, we can get there. So because we have a seven light year ship, it takes a long, it takes a bit of a time, long time to get anywhere. Once you do a bigger class FSD, you can get places faster. So what we're going to do actually is we're going to just launch. We're just going to head over there, and then I'll talk through uh, Super Cruise and uh, 
hyperspace as well. In this case, we're going to talk about jumping from system to system, and then the in system, the in system part will come more later. Just jump out of the line. I think in the next video, I will cover manual docking and manual locking just for the purpose of this video. We're just going to skip that and we're just going to wait for this thing to. And you may know someone else, I do also happen to have the sound off, and that's just because, as I stated last time, um, the sound interferes with my topic, so I have to fight with the game to get a good recording going in. Once we're done with this, and yes, all launch is a bit small. Okay, so once we're done with this, we you may notice we're still mass lock, and just like last time, the W and S keys move you forward, the A and D keys move you left and right, and then you can use R and F keys move down. What we're gonna do is you wanna press W key, move forward, and then we will not be mass locked anymore. To target the next system, you're going to hit the, uh, the number six key on your keyboard. You're going to hit that, and you're going to align yourself with the reticle right here. And so we align ourselves, press the R key to go up, just align ourselves with the system. We're going to hit the J key, that's the jump key, and then we'll tell you. So it tells you a couple things when you're jumping. It'll tell you you get the, in the middle of the screen, you get the name of the system, the security of the system, if you're clean, so if you can jump with, uh, if you're warning that system, or if you're warning cargo, and then right hand side, it will tell you the security state of the system, and then what type of star class you jump into, and that's more important for later on. And then every jump you do does, cons does consume fuel. Uh, so that what blue me who you you saw was uh, fuel being consumed. You always want to keep an eye on that because if you because you can't run out of fuel in that one space, and trust me, it is not fun. So this is a tar uh, T class target star. Uh, we cannot actually jump to this fuel from this. So there's only specific types of stars you can scoop from. I'll get more into that later as it gets kind of complicated. What we're gonna do? We're just gonna go around. We're going to. Press the R key, go straight up, and just target itself, go ahead and go to the next system. But we can't feel from that here. It's a good thing it's close by though, because we're not using too much fuel. So generally, you can only feel from uh, orange star type stars. There is a acronym for it. I forgot. Um, I will, I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description of the video. Because it's, I think it's KGB in foam. It's the type of star you can class, but usually red stars, uh, uh, yellow orange stones. Uh, you can't refill from neutrons or white jars, you can't refill from brown jars or T class Atari stars, just press how, how they are. So, again, when jumping, generally you're going to jump close to the star and you're going to want to avoid the exclusion zone as indicated by the uh, orange and lines. And if you do that, you crash into the star system, into the star, and you'll take some damage and you'll be subjected to a 40 second FSD. So, now we are. And you can also check the number of current jumps you have by pressing the one key, going to the navigation tab, and it'll tell you the system you're in, wait for the next jump, and then you wait for the destination, how long to get to the destination. In this case, it's just uh, two jumps. And again, we're jumping into a bunch of stars that aren't really. that you can't scoop them, so just watch your below. I also like to point out, I do have a field scoop. So I, I did buy a fuel scoop uh, for when I was building the first one just to just to beans make of making it more. Uh probably next video once we get some once I show you guys how to get some basic credits and do a few of these missions, I will most likely uh, I will go over outfitting how to buy a fuel scoop with the best kind of sites you want to use to find a fuel scoop, etc. etc. So we can't keep doing this. You just, you just want to use the W, the A and D keys and W to move around. These are the same keys you use in normal space to find super cruise. We're in super cruise right now, so W and S move back and forth, and that will boost toggle in case the speed you should be uh, going at. So what we're going to do, we're going to calculate the next system. We are going to tow it. We're going to use the A key. We're going to press the R key, go straight up. We're going to use the D key, go a little to the right, and we're going to be right here. Before you jump to a system, it will show you on the screen the light year range. And you cannot super cruise to a system you have to jump. It has been tested. You can't super cruise to a system because with that little screen you see is the game is the game instancing in the next system. As you see, we're a bit low in fuel. 
So it's something you always want to watch. If you get too low, you will see a warning. Say you have about 20 minutes of fuel left. And then if you want to get fuel, you're going to have to self-destruct. I'll call it fuel rats. And then I will put a link uh, for the fuel rats as well in the video description. We're just going to jump into the star. Okay. And yeah. That's another. And this is another type of star you can't speak from. Because it's too cool or too hot. I don't really understand. And then, yes, yeah, so with these types of missions. So, with these types of missions, uh, if you want to press 2, you can go ahead and go to your inbox tab. So, press 2, and then go use the E key, go to inbox tab. Some type of missions have time bonuses, which that means if you can get the if you can get the mission, the item to the faction before the time expires, you'll get a big bonus. In this case, I have 27 minutes, and we get a nice 27 uh, sorry, 25,000. Uh, great reward to get that time. This inbox will also notify you if you have um, any ships coming after you or if you fail a mission, etc. etc. you see it in your inbox as well. Okay. So, what we're going to do is just find the station we're going to, press 1, go to the nav tab, uh, scroll all the way down to the blue, blue thing where it says beam terminal, and that's currently 773 right seconds away. What we're going to do is hit the space bar, click lock destination, and I'm going to you guys all have super cruise assist by default um i'm actually just going to, i'll show you how to use it so what you want to do after you you target this click the space bar and you scroll, press d or to the right click button says super cruise assist and yeah it's active so what super cruise assist does is it will target the station for you and you can it will just super cruise you to the range uh, i should know that super cruise assist goes about 75% of the speed of regular Super Cruise does. So if you're going really long distances, it's great. But once you learn how to use Super Cruise normally, it's uh you would just I just I generally said you usually don't use it. Sorry, that was that was just that was just that was just So again with the you can see what the turn off the station to I take quick pause there. Uh, what you can see is that you've named the station, you've distanced the station. The little blue zone indicates the zone where you're close enough to drop out. So in this case, uh, once you get within about one megameter of station, you can drop out and you'll be able to drop into the normal station on the station. The speed indicates the speed that you want to be going. That way you don't overshoot the station. If you go too fast and overshoot the station, you have to come back around and we'll loop. And that's what we like to call a loop of shame. And then alignment is just with, if that blue check mark is ticked, it means you're aligned with the station. That means you'll be able to jump right out. When you drop out, you jump on the station and not into some, uh, somewhere else in the middle of space. It also, it also gives you the body station's orbit as well. So, actually, while waiting, I just wanted to, uh, while, while waiting for this to drop out, I'm actually, I just, just, actually just wanted to say thank you to the two people who have subscribed to the channel currently and to the 23 plus people who have watched the, uh, watched some of the video. Uh, apparently, the average viewing time was 2 or 6, so I'm just wondering if you guys would mind if the videos are too long, if they're too short, etc., etc., that would be nice to know. Thank you. So, now we have dropped, with that being said, now we have dropped to the station. There will usually be a press gate. Press the JT to get some data since you're in super cool assist. It will automatically do it. So what we're going to do is we are now going to dock since this is the station we want to go to. We're going to hit the T key. We're just going to press W. So I hit the T key, press W, and we're going to keep going just a little bit. And straight until we get within that 7.50 kilometer, we can be docked. Uh, so you're into the no fire zone. If you fire your weapons in the no fire zone, you will be fine. You have to pay off when you get to the station. If you fire your weapons at the station and they hit the station, the station will shoot back at you and kill you. And blow up your ship. So what's that? So now within the 7.50 kilometers, what we're going to do? Go to the request one. Go to the contacts tab. Go to request docking. And then so we have requested docking. I'm gonna scroll down for the all launch. I'll let the all, let the all launch take over. I'm gonna dock. Again, this does work most of the time, but it takes every so often. It takes a uh, it takes it takes a bit of time. It takes a bit of time to do it. So, so 
on the screen for me to sound all this happens. And then I do think Ned Spiegel, um, I'm probably over outfitting and uh, I'll probably start choosing guys the process of uh, docking and leaving manually because you will know how to do it. You do have to know how to do that to be successful, especially since it's a game about flying spaceship. Uh, even knowing how to fly a pilot a spaceship successfully is very, very uh, important. Well, spaceship so that's I think most of you know. So we're going to dock. Okay, and now we're docked. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to refill, but before we do that, we're going to want to go ahead and go to start. So, well, the second thing we want to do is refill, but we don't consider refill when we dock. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go to Starport Services. And to complete this mission, we're just going to go to the mission board. You see a little icon here. Then you see this over here. They're going to turn report delivery. Uh, just, just tap on it. Complete mission. You can choose one of three awards. I would say for new players, just make sure you choose the credit award because it'll help you pay for your rebuy. You use some basic equipment besides the uh, e-rigger modules that come with the cyber by default. The cool chooses your award. And then you see a little pop-up screen. So the mission's complete. A little flavor text. Rewards. So I got, I did get 51,000 credit because I was able to get within the time bonus. So if, if you stack missions and do a bunch at once, uh, be aware of one interdictions and then two, um, and then two with time bonuses. Uh, if you can stack missions with time bonuses, you can actually you can increase the amount of credits uh, you have by a lot. So again, the more missions you do for a specific faction, the higher the level you get with that faction, and then the higher level missions with more credits and a bit more risk they'll get to you. Okay, so we complete this mission. So we can take another one, or we can go back. So what I'm actually going to do... Yeah. Take one more quicker. I'm actually just going to go ahead and call this one here for this video. Because I'll be, I'll be putting out a few this week just to, that will complement each other. So we're, but before we do that, sorry, before I call this one here, uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and refill. Go back to the main station, hit refill. Refill your ship. So you have to repair it and you put that on fuel. And then. And I do want to cover one more thing. Go to Starport Services for a sec. So um, before, I, before I call this, I actually do want to cover one more thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Starport Services. So every time you go to a new system, you'll get exploration. You'll get. You discover a new system, you'll get credits, you can get credits for that by uh, scanning the system or just by traveling through it, passing. Yeah, so what we want to do, you're going to go open the mission board, the service station jumps to normal, go to universal, universal controller fix, you're going to click on that. And generally you won't make uh, about a million in this case. Uh, I guess I was, uh, over the course of the weekend, I was helping a friend out with some other stuff in-game. So, I was, uh, I, I was hopping around the, uh, the area a little bit. So, you know, you'll make, I think, maybe those couple systems may give you like, maybe like 2 to 5, 2.5 to 5,000 credits. But it's always nice when you make more extra money. In this case, I just, because I was hopping around, doing like, you know, I'm good. So, you just go, yeah. What we're going to do, open up the tab, go to the cell page, so you can extract it here. And then just click the confirm that I'll give you the amount of credits you want to sell. You want to you want to sell, and you'll get some extra credits. And then these, okay, so this is where I was currently. So these, uh, with exploration, you currently have a 20 light year jump range. Uh, you have to be 20 plus light years from the source of the data to actually be able to sell it. So I'm stupid close. So in this case, uh, these three systems are the ones I've been in. So actually, you guys would make. About, I don't know, 13,000 spare extra credits, which isn't anything to stop it, by the new player. There's just no way to make credits. Uh, it's also a career, viable career path. Uh, I'll talk more about that later. But, uh, so, yeah, I'll talk about that later. And then I think that's the first mission. Uh, there's actually, I'll probably just upload, I think I'm actually going to, what I'm going to do, this is the tutorial video. I'm probably going to make a separate video just detailing me going over a little bit more interesting in the missions and outfitting just to make this one shorter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to call this one here. This is the second video of my Luke Danger series. Uh, the, the window one will be by 2.5 and there will be a third one that will cover outfitting and then I can't couple of things. Thanks for watching and as always, I will see you guys next time.